Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today I'm reviewing a beautiful cigar by Hoya de Nicaragua, celebrating their 50th anniversary. This is the Hoya de Nicaragua Cinco Decadas Diadema. Now, as you can see, it's already been lit. That's because the original intro was lost. So we're redoing it. No problem. No problem at all. Uh, these are $20 a piece, but it's absolutely beautiful. Here is uh, a, a shot of the foot before it was lit. Now, this cigar has a nice oily wrapper. Don't know what's in it, but uh, everything about it just says class. Speaking of that, I did review a the Hoya de Nicaragua Classico earlier this year. Did fairly well, but uh, this is Hoya de Nicaragua's 50th anniversary Cinco uh, Decadas, five decades, and uh, they are celebrating in a big way. So. Let's get right to it. By the way, the wrapper binder filler is all undisclosed. They are not revealing it, but it is made by them in their factory. Now, the thing that's cool about this cigar is how it's so tapered. It gets up to 54 here. And it's right here. This is what we want to take just the least amount of. <laughs> I like it when a plan comes together. There's what I took off of this. So that's what we're left with. Not very, not very big, but look how, now look at it. Look at it. Wow. That's just cool. All right. Carefully. All right, your first flavors are a little unique, but I'm seeing a theme at the same time. I've said this several times about Nicaraguan cigars this year. That candy-like baby aspirin orange citrus. Sound familiar? But this time it has with it sweet apricots. So you got to combine those flavors in your mind. Quite a bit of cinnamon and nice brown sugar. There is a black coffee base. Also, there is black pepper at seven and a half. That's how you start. Actually, it's quite sweet. The darker notes, the black coffee is not as noticeable as the black pepper. But it's a good start. Unique starting flavors. I agree. But that's what it is. So uh, let's, uh, and I believe we'll probably have flavor changes as it goes and gets to the bigger ring gauge here in a few minutes. Let's see what happens when we get there. Okay, this is much earlier than I normally come back. But I think we're going to have some changes here quickly and along the way. So I'm about an inch and a half in. But the, uh, the flavors are amazing. That candy-like orange citrus and the apricot, sweet apricot preserve almost, 
is extremely rich and sweet. There is a, a lot of juicy richness, like a buttery richness to it now. Tons of cinnamon and brown sugar mixed in. Ooh, it is so nice and sweet. And it has a lot of lower level flavors of the uh, the black coffee and the black pepper, if you will. Uh, it just all flows from that rich, sweet flavor right through to the black pepper and the coffee. It's uh, high grade, medium bodied now. And I'm, I feel sure we're going to move up. I think we will. Um, the finish is very much one of cream. Just a touch of nutmeg to it, but uh, you don't really get a lot of nutmeg on the front end right now. It's too much sweetness. Um, but it is extremely sweet. I'm letting it go slow as it wants to, so I can burn it evenly. It is just so nice right now. I'm going to rate it every time I come back. Okay, so this is really like the first quarter. But for this first quarter, it is so rich and sweet. I'm starting it off at 95. Yes, 95. And uh, let's just see where it goes. But at this point, early on, it's fantastic. All right, we're very, very close to the midpoint. And you're getting a heck of a burn time out of this cigar. It's burning very slowly and very evenly. Now, the, the front end ash has already fallen off, but uh, that's okay. It's burning very slowly. I have to remove the, the band here. But before I do, let me tell you about the flavors. Add a touch of nutmeg on the front end and caramel to the front end. Also, add light, clean, fresh leather. When you combine those flavors to the other already sweet, rich flavors, this is just amazing. You've got nice lower level flavors now with the, with the light leather in there with the black coffee and the, the black pepper is just great. It's lingering nicely. Oh. And uh, all those sweet flavors, it's really good. The finish has essence of those apricots, apricot preserves, if you will. And nice lingering black pepper. Very nice. A smooth lingering black pepper, but it lingers, and there's a lot of it. At the midpoint, I have no option but to go up. 96. This is uh, a really good cigar. Now, all cards on the table. I did have the Churchill earlier. Not this today, but a couple of weeks ago. It was very good, too. But I don't know if it was good as this one. It is. This is good. So, uh Hold on to your seats. We've we got something special here. All right, I'm finished with the third quarter. <laughs> Not used to doing quarters. We are three fourths of the way through. And the flavors are the same. The strength is now a low grade, full body. Last segment, it was a high grade, medium to full. I didn't mention that, but it's, it's gone up. Very impressive cigar from Hoy to Nicaragua. Boy, did they save their big guns for something special. As I said, it's undisclosed the ingredients. Don't know any of them. Needless to say, it's going to be Nicaragua tobacco, but I don't know what it's from, where it's from, what type, whatever it is, it's pretty doggone good. It's just a unique flavor combination that those two, that apricot 
preserve almost and the uh, candy like baby aspirin orange citrus. You do get a little more of the baby aspirin orange citrus than you do the apricots right now. Before it was like 50-50. That's sort of changed. Those percentages have changed a little bit. Other than that, nothing else has changed. As I speak to you, I can feel the lingering black pepper. That's always nice when you can really feel it. Long, long finish. This is a pretty, pretty good cigar, folks. Three fourths point ninety six. Not changing that. Don't have to. I am curious to see as we get to the smaller rings if it's going to lose anything. So hang in there for the final quarter. favorite okay we're down to the end so let's wrap it up here at the end i didn't lose too much the apricot preserve sort of faded away a little bit leaving mostly that candy like baby aspirin or citrus you still had your light leather and touches of nutmeg nice brown sugar plenty of cinnamon plenty of black pepper lost a little of the richness i thought we might change because it's getting to the smaller rings but uh full body full blown full body finish is basically unchanged <clears throat> this is an impressive cigar 20 bucks expensive yes worth it yes Unlike some other high dollar cigars I've reviewed this year, this one is worth it and you should look for them. Final third, I'm going to go ahead and drop it back to 95. Now, we did four quarters. Averaging it out, you have 95 and a half. Definitely, this is a 96 rated cigar. Definitely a 96. I, the, the last little bit and the first little bit, you can't, that's not enough to justify uh, destroying a fantastic rating in this cigar which it deserves this is a solid 96 and i stand behind it 100 percent. very good cigar so there you have it the new hoya de nicaragua cinco decadas diadema a solid 96.